don't see it on the screen. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep some stuff on the screen. Oh, look right? at that. I don't even have the right password. Oh, it's probably because I'm not in the right portal login. Well, one is that research portal ads, but not custom. And actually, look at that. That's how much I got paid. There we go. <laughs> Pretty good little chunk. Nice. Oh, yeah. wow. Nice. Wow, man. Damn. <laughs> <That's> cool. <laughs> um, okay. What? How can I show this? Uh... So, I wanted to show the program. Well, this actually might give away. Um, <laughs> it might give away what it was, but yeah. So you uh, log. So whatever endpoint you're working with, you can log in, and if they have a bug bounty for it, you can um, ap apply or I guess you know submit your findings to the target location that it was for, and write a description. And then I also submitted the files attached, and then someone will take it and they'll evaluate it. And then they'll come back to you and either ask you follow-up questions or they will just say it's been approved and send you money, I guess, essentially. And then, obviously, they fix it right here. Is, There's the reference code to it. Is any of that public you can share, like uh, like a link to the report at all? or? Well, I mean, the fact that it's on the screen now. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> it says, um, I, I don't recall an NDA and the fact that the... Uh, um, since it's fixed, I don't think it's too big of a deal. So, um, I guess as long yeah. as everybody else has patched their stuff. Correct. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Well, that was a good one. Nice. Oh, man. Yeah. Thanks. Are you, are you able to uh, make the, uh, the text on the right bigger? Um, I don't know if you can do like a control plus or whatever. Yeah. Oh, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so again, Python skills very minimal, but um, you know, I, this is actually I have one comment here. It's so find files, right? So this is essentially just going through the list directory and finding files. The files. The reason why I have the if statement here is because I don't want it to find these files. These are you know my Python script, the key that I'm going to be generating. Uh, to use the encryption for to to encrypt the files with, and then I also in uh, I think it was all the way to the fourth generation, I wrote um, the uh, decrypt key as well. So let's just move along though, because I so sorry too. You can see start getting a little more uh, a little more detailed, I guess, specifically with. Um, finding directories rather than files. So I try to locate directories. And I still use OS list directory. Um, uh, gosh, man, I'm looking through this stuff. I haven't looked at this in a while now. Um, I find the results, find the files. Okay, we'll grade this. Let's move, let's move along. Uh, so sorry, three, version three was mainly about uh, building the key, but making it stronger. So I added, uh, you know, a sol and algorithm at SHA-256, a length and everything like that. And then, sorry, version 4. This is when I started introducing OS walk path. Why this was um, important was because in the very early on stages of the endpoint evaluation, OS list directory only was able to um, enumerate what was inside that directory. So wherever you're launching this script from, that's all it could see. And some uh, one of the endpoints told me, well, it's not it's not detecting it because it's not walking through enough directories. So you need to somehow make your ransomware walk through enough directories before our um, you know algorithm catches that you're doing something malicious. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So this is where sorry version four really kicked on, and then I actually this is where I stopped um, 
This is where I stopped creating the dec decryption key because you can see how more complex it became. Um, and then also, you can see I added uh, a way to rename files using the for loop that we learned last week. Again, OS walk path. I'm adding the extension dot pwn to the end of it. And also, I'm leaving a ransomware note. So almost everything that a ransomware would actually have, which leads us to the final product, which is Sorry version 7. And um, what's different about this final product is uh, they didn't like that my encryption had to have uh, cryptography installed on the computer and that it um, was launched from a Python script. So in Sorry version 7, I actually build the key. I actually build the key in its own uh, Python script, and then I actually turned it into an exe file using py installer. I don't okay. know if you guys ever heard that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good work. And, yeah, and I actually have, um, I've got the demo. I set up a demo for you guys tonight. So... Let me know if you guys can all see that, if it's it, big enough. Uh, is there any way you can bump the resolution up? Maybe, or just make, yeah, make it, or bump it down, I guess. Just change it to like, uh, wow, you must have a 4K monitor. Uh, bump, bump it down to like uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, a little bit up oh, right there. there. It is. Oh. Perfect. You might have to like close and re, or you might have to do something because now it's all small. Yeah, that's. That's super small on my end. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, perfect. Oh, wait. No, better? no, no. It reverted back. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it? I mean, it's... It's hard to... It's hard to... It's, it's, a, little, it's a little hard, I do, but I, I guess... Zoom. You do... You, yeah, there you go. Do that. Yeah, that that works. That's perfect. That's kind of big, but... That's, 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 a little, <laughs> that's a little big. We'll go a little, a little yeah. smaller than that. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Sorry. All right. So, in uh, so we got you. Can, I just wanted to show you that um, I do have all the Windows Defender running, um, and this is actually I. You can see it says Sorry version seven Discord version. So what's different here is um, I'm actually going to pull this back up. Instead of uh, walking through the whole C drive. I even left notes in here that you can actually specify exact path that you want to enumerate, and the OS walk will only walk that uh, what's ever in that uh, directory. Okay. So it won't go outside of it. So it's actually very uh, protected. Otherwise, I would have probably encrypted my whole drive multiple times just on my work machine from doing this. Um, and just go ahead and execute, and let's see if Windows Defender actually tries to block it. Oh my gosh, maybe it did block it. And look at that. The demo fails. Well, that's a bummer. Um, also, I forgot to show you that I, you know, I put logs here. Did you pray to the demo gods? And I, I'm parked I, way, Sean. I, I'm, I'm parked in the ice cream lot. <laughs> oh no. I did not. Jeez. Pray to... Oh, there it goes. Okay, I had to run it as administrator. So. That was really fast. Um, it's not that fast usually when you do the whole C C drive. On a Windows machine, like Windows 10 machine that has pretty much nothing on it, it takes about 20-ish minutes. But um, I should have showed you each file beforehand. But as you can see, this file's got the dot pwned extension, and it did not encrypt it. Oh, my gosh. I am on fire right now. <laughs> well, I assume if you did the whole C drive, wouldn't that make the whole system inoperable? Oh, that one encrypted. Um, yes, that's correct. I would, I would crash the system. Yes. So, um, that that's only if, um, so to crash the system, I'll take that back. To crash the system, you had to take over uh, system thirty-two. Oh, okay, okay. That that one had a little more. I wouldn't crash the system. It's it's just mainly this, um, home folder. Back, yeah, going back to what I'm doing here. So I gotta try and accept. So if you if I can't encrypt the file, I'm just moving on. I don't care. So if if it can't read it, if it can't read and open it and write to it, it, it I don't care. Same with uh, renaming the file as well. And so you can see this file actually did get you know 
encrypted. I don't know why the rest of them didn't work. This has uh, been a kind of a disaster here. Um, so would some scenarios be like if you're just a plain user, it, you can only write and encrypt those users that or the user stuff that has access to those user files, right? Versus correct. admin that has you know access to a lot more files. Correct. I mean, in, in most cases, right? Aren't the hackers essentially trying to become admin? Or get as elevated as most ev elevated as it can get, right? They try, but sometimes they end up with just a user. Was this was yours mostly just a user, or did you give them both? Uh, no. I, in this case, they were admins. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Sean, is this being recorded? Sorry. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so when you tested the other vendor, were you, were you already essentially, like, admin on the box? Or did yes. you, were you able to, like, escalate, or did you have to, like, escalate as far as, like, the proof of concept? No, no, I was already admin on the box. I I, okay. I cheated across those steps. I okay. was already, yeah. For sure. Thanks. Just from, just from what I've seen in this, you know, these talks, that I've seen you guys escalate yourself to admin in pretty much of an instance, so... Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll... yeah. Uh, usually, like the the attack path, it's it's interesting because as soon as you have admin, you can pretty much do anything. But yeah. the hard part is, first off, I, I think like getting on the box and or getting on the machine that you're you're trying to attack, and then figuring out the, that that path to escalation. And then once you can escalate, then you essentially run the 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 script and bolt do and do whatever you want to do essentially so um no it's that's pretty sweet though you use chat gpt to like learn this process yeah yeah and, and you know when i when i went through this with the endpoints um a lot of their arguments were like well you're kind of cheating you're skipping all the kill chain you know they all the stuff that we'd see beforehand we would catch you beforehand i'm like oh, okay whatever sure well, what if what if the end user that is a sysadmin and their VPN con uh, gets compromised, so it looks like a normal VPN connection back into their work computer, and they, you know, there's there's whole there's tons of steps that could happen that you just can't predict for that could completely skip the kill chain, right? And then go straight to you know export you know the ransomware. That's that's my thinking at least, and one I've also experienced it, so um, yeah, that sucks. No, I agree. And, and yeah. to be honest, too, a lot of a lot of depending on where you work or home users, a lot of times you're running as admin. If you're just a regular setting up a regular Windows system, your user that is set up by default as an administrator user, you do get the UAC prompt that pops up, but that's you know sometimes easy to bypass. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I've there's been times um, in, in a few of my other companies where they had to have like all the all like every user was essentially a local admin on their machine because they needed to install stuff um, or install whatever they, they needed. Not best practices, but it's very much, um, it's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a possibility. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that, it literally was chat GPT. So every time I was trying to figure out, so like when I was an OS uh, dot dire um, directory, and so like this, sorry, version four here, list directory. No, sorry. By version three, maybe. I it took me so long to figure out that OS walk path is the one that I actually needed. That that which which would allow it to actually walk through the C drive and actually try to go find each directory. And th that that was I think probably the most complicated part about this was and I just keep asking ChatGPT in just different ways, and it just kept spitting out different code, and I just kept testing it and testing it until I get to where I'm at. Today. Code Blue, could you give some examples of like queries you asked ChatGPT? Just I'm just curious, like your mindset and what was involved with that. Um, I mean, it wasn't queries; it was the wording. It was, you know, I'm I'm looking to write a Python script that would walk through my directories. I'm looking to uh, when it's walking through my directories, you can see here that when I'm putting it into the file path, um, I'm also um, appending the root and the file path. So that way, if you print this out, it will say, you know, 
it's in the C directory, it's in this folder, this folder, it's all, this is the whole path, and this is the file name and the extension. So I had to put that all together. So it was really just keep, you, you just kept diving deeper into the question until I got the full answer. Hope okay. that helps. That, that, no, it, it totally makes sense. Yeah, so so essentially you you asked it like, I'm trying to think how to how to explain this. So essentially, like, because because I've heard ChatGPT, it's technically not supposed to do illegal things, but I've seen from or, or like do requests like malicious requests. But I've seen on like Twitter where if you ask ChatGPT in certain specific ways, and then you for like you keep pressuring saying you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you'll essentially get like a an answer that could potentially be malicious. Um, so it seemed like, like your, your thought process was, Hey, I'm going to ask it smaller, more simpler questions instead of just, Hey, let's write me some ransomware. It was like going through the step process. You're, you're absolutely correct. So like this cool. find files piece is, um, actually I have the Python script here by itself. Right. So I, yeah. I, I built, I built each piece individually, essentially. Nice. That makes you're, sense. You're hundred percent right. And yeah, that is a one way to get around chat GPTs. Oh, I can't tell you that. I'm not going to do that malicious act for you. And it's like, Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, you are. You'll, you'll eventually do it. <laughs> yeah. That's um, really good, dude. I wish the uh, demo went a little cooler. Um, I had, I have more, you know, I, I it's only on version seven. I wanted to, Next thing I wanted to do was uh, traverse, you know, a network connected, you know, some kind of like NAS or anything like that. That'd be next. That'd be my next thing to, you know, walk through those directories and see if I could get that to work next. Also, maybe even uh, some kind of connection back to a C2C, and see if I can maybe start copying some files over. But building kinda... yourself a worm. <laughs> I uh um. Kind of, we're pretty much already done with our evaluation and, you know. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Anything else? All right. No, no, I, I, I appreciate it, man. That's, that was a really cool demo. And that's a cool way to approach it, um, you know. Uh, so, you know, you're not really just asking chat GPT how to build yourself some ransomware, but you're, you're, you know, you're asking it in steps that any normal programmer would think, you know, how do I, uh, you know, go, uh, traverse through directories? How do I, you know, encrypt files? How do I, you know, do X, Y, Z? And so that's a clever way of doing it uh, and a clever way to kind of get around chat GPT. And it's, it's really cool to find these ways to get around chat GPTs. Um, um, issues and share the and, and share it because it, it, in the future this is going to probably help chat gpt grow and prevent uh, folks from creating more malware because ideally we don't and i know this is already going on right now but ideally we don't want to live in a world where anybody like children or whoever it is can go and just tell a computer hey create me malware and it's going to write it for them and, and then spread so um it's, I, don't know, I think it's a really cool uh, study there yeah, I also heard on NPR that um, the API version of ChatGPT uh, it doesn't have any of those, uh, I guess, restrictions or blocks Ooh. in place. Um, Interesting. Um, but yeah, yeah, cool, cool talk, man. Um, Jesse, do you wanna you wanna get things rolling? 